The top edge rusher in the 2024 class has locked in a visit. Elijah Rushing and his family plan to check out a couple more schools, but Miami is the only one currently locked in. What can you tell us about the prospect and his recruitment? Yeah, I spoke to his dad this week. He told me that the Miami visit is locked in for the first weekend of March, and that's the only visit currently scheduled for Elijah Rushing, but they want to take several more spring visits. Ohio State, who recently offered in January, they want to get to Columbus and hang out with Larry Johnson in the Buckeyes. Notre Dame is another school they want to get back to. Also mentioned Oregon and Colorado. So those are five visits that are on the radar right now for the Russian camp. And Blair, I know there's some other major contenders for this blue chipper. Yeah, I would think these some of the West Coast schools are also going to be in the mix there. His brother Cruz was a walk-on at Florida, was previously committed to Oregon. He is now back home in Tucson playing for the Arizona Wildcats. I would assume that a lot of the West Coast schools are going to have a lot of pull. The Oregons, the Washington, the two L.A. schools made his top 12 as well, USC and UCLA. He really enjoyed his visits there. I like Notre Dame early on in the recruiting battle. He's liked his visit to South Bend previously. This is going to be, Steve, as you know, a national recruitment. When you think about the number one edge rusher and how exciting those battles are, you think back to Keon Keeley and it seemed like a tug of war there for, for a number of, of months. I think we're going to see something very similar with Elijah rushing. He's that type of prospect. Yeah, similar to Keon Keeley. He has yeah. all the intangibles you're looking for in addition to those tangibles on the field. So that's why he's so coveted by the Notre Dames of the world as well. He was at Washington's junior day at the end of the January, which was also a great experience for him. We'll see if his recruitment is as dramatic as Keon Keeley's was. Meanwhile, a few spots ahead of rushing in our rankings is five-star safety K.J. Bolden. He is locked in to visit the Buckeyes in June. Steve, who else is involved? Yeah, Blair reported that news. Spent some time with K.J. Bolden this past weekend at the Battle Las Vegas 7-on-7 seven seven event. And Ohio State's a school that's been prominent in his recruitment since the beginning. He was at Ohio State's win over Notre Dame, returned for the game against Michigan. Perry Eliano, lead recruiter for the Buckeyes, he's related to Coach Eliano. And he, in talking to him recently about Ohio State, he just loves the future of the program. And I know behind the scenes he's uh, talking to Ohio State a lot, and, and it's a uh, very promising recruitment for the Buckeyes, but they got several contenders in this one. Georgia is a program that's uh, been at the top or near the top for K.J. Bolden. Clemson, he was recently back in Death Valley, and the Tigers are another program that he's super high on. And then Alabama, Tennessee, Florida State, a few other contenders for K.J. Bolden. But in addition to that official visit to Ohio State in June, I also expect him to be back in Columbus for spring practice, and I think he'll make some rounds to his top schools for spring practices at those places as well. Blair, what'd you see from KJ Bolden in Vegas? Well, it's a little tough. As Steve, you know, in these seven on seven settings and these passing league tournaments, it's it's difficult to really judge safeties. And Emily, we got to get you out to one of those eventually. But KJ Bolden checks off a ton of boxes. He covers a lot of ground. I love his makeup speed. I love his ability to kind of scan the field. He's really instinctual. Uh, there's no run plays really. So he, it's all about reacting and it's about reading the quarterback. And KJ Bolden's able to do all that. He's got really good speed. I wouldn't call him a burner, but I do think he, he, he eats a, a chunk of yards at a time. He, he's really, really dynamic in space. He's able to go up and make plays on the football. And, and I think he's got that competitiveness to him, that fuel, that that uh, I think that fire to not allow any completion. So I really like what I saw out of KJ Bolden this past weekend in Vegas. All right, on the coaching front, the Georgia offensive shakeup, Munkin off to the NFL, Mike Bobo elevated. Uh, we know the dogs are in heavy pursuit of Dylan Rayola. So Steve, how does this change really affect Rayola's interest in the Bulldogs, if, if at all? Well, talking to Rayola's dad earlier today and trading some texts with Dylan, I don't think at this moment it affects it much at all. Georgia's still one of the top contenders for the number one ranked player in the 24-7 sports player rankings. He's going to be back in Athens sometimes this spring. They're trying to figure out their visit schedule around training and baseball and, and some other things. But uh, they know Mike Bobo. They've been around him and met him in person. And then Ray, uh, Rayola's dad played with Matt Stafford for a long time, they're good friends, and Matt Stafford has said nothing but good things about Mike Bobo. And as Blair said at the beginning of the show, this is one of the top recruiters in the country for his position and one of his most recent big wins on the trail when he was the offensive coordinator at South Carolina. He beat Georgia for Gunnar Stockton, who ultimately ended up 
at South or at Georgia with some coaching carousel deals. But Mike Bobo's got chops on the trail. He builds really good relationships mm -hmm. with prospects and families. He's got pedigree as a coach. And Georgia still remains one of the top contenders alongside Nebraska, USC, and Oregon. And we'll see what happens this next wave of visits he takes. Steve, top 10 defensive lineman Justin Scott had set a commitment date for January 31st. And now we're in the middle of February. But he's locked in an official visit to Georgia for April. What's going on with Justin Scott and how is his recruitment shaking, shaking up? Yeah. Yeah, our colleague Alan True with the news there on the official visit to Georgia. But this is a program that we've been keeping an eye on in the Justin Scott sweepstakes since Trey Scott went up to watch him play basketball in January. And they extended him a scholarship. He had a commitment date set. We liked Notre Dame at that time, uh, but said keep an eye on Georgia. Then maybe he wasn't going to announce it was keep an eye on Georgia. Then the announcement was back on. Let's <laughs> keep an eye on Georgia. Announcement's off. Official visit set for Georgia, but these aren't the only two contenders for him. It's not just Notre Dame and Georgia. Uh, Alan Trues here in Ohio State's a major factor in there. We know he had a great visit to USC. Uh, so those are a few other programs that are in the mix for Justin Scott as well. All right, how about the top linebacker in 2024? Sammy Brown scheduling some visits of his own. He recently locked in one for Oklahoma. So what do you know about the Sooners' pursuit? Yeah, and he's been trying to get back out to Norman for a while now, and they're going to just do it over their spring break the first week of April. The day is not completely locked in, but they know that's where they want to spend their spring break, Norman, Oklahoma. And obviously, he's got a longstanding relationship with Brent Venables. He's been attending Clemson camp for years on years, and, and so that relationship is carried over to, to Norman. And I think Oklahoma, they're trying to make a move on a couple schools that are at the top of his list in Georgia and Clemson. He was at Georgia's uh, national championship parade celebrating the second straight title. And then he was at Clemson's elite junior day. He's frequented those campuses numerous times and has great relationships with Kirby Smart and Glenn Schumann in Athens and Dabo Sweeney and, and, and Coach Goodwin at Clemson. And then another school that's certainly near the top of his list right now is Ohio State. Uh, he's been up to Columbus, has had some great experiences there, really likes Coach Knowles and the fit in that defense, and has really hit it off with Coach Laronitis as well. Daniel Calhoun is another prospect that is busy circling dates on his official visit calendar. Steve, he's the number three rated offensive tackle in the 24 class. Bama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, all pursuing him. What's the latest in the recruitment of Daniel Calhoun? Yeah, you name the four schools that he has a keen eye on. He's locked in official visits in June for Georgia the first weekend and Alabama the second weekend. And although Florida and Tennessee and maybe some other programs are schools that he's still high on and communicating with, I think that they're trying to catch up to where Alabama and Georgia stand in this recruitment. Again, he's been to both places numerous times. His dad played at Alabama. He loves the history of Nick Saban and, and uh, has built a really good relationship with Coach Wolford over there and loves the track record of player development, but certainly Georgia and the new standard there and competing against the best in practice and getting to know Coach Searles and, and Coach Smart and being in that atmosphere is also exciting to him. But those will be big official visits as his process winds down in June, and we'll see if the Gators are in balls and maybe some other programs make a move. Awesome, Steve. Thank you so much. Be sure to check out new episodes of the Wilt Fong Whip Around every Monday on the 24-7 Sports YouTube page. <laughs>